Hello, welcome to another video from the Pythonic Accountant. Today we're going to go through how to extract text uh, and information from a PDF file. So today we're going to be looking at the Requests library and the PDF Plumber library. Requests is a library that can be used to access information on the internet. We'll probably go more into this one later. But for today's purposes, we're going to use this to download a PDF file from a web page. And then we're going to use the PDF Plumber library to extract information from the PDF file. And this website here gives you the documentation of how to use the PDF Plumber library. And this web page here shows you how to use the request library. So first off, what we're going to have to do is conda install requests. And what this is going to do is install requests onto our environment. So we'll go ahead and do that. And once that's done, uh, Conda does not have the ability to add PDF Plumber. So we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to say pip install PDF Plumber. And that basically does the same thing as Conda, but the Conda package is a little bit safer to use, meaning it'll make sure that your environment always works. PDF uh, or pip install, you could have things go wrong. So usually it's better to use Conda. So now we're going to open up our Jupyter Lab and start coding away. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up in my preferred Chrome. And what we're going to do is we're going to, now it's my tester code. I'm going to start a new, a fresh one for you guys. And let's call this PDF invoice extract. And we're going to go ahead and import requests and import PDF plumber. That should work fine. If you had an error, then you did something uh, wrong when you tried to install these libraries. Um, next, we're going to write a function. This is going to be a helper function that's going to help us download the PDF file. So first off, I want to show you what the PDF file looks like that we're going to get. I found an example invoice for, you know, K billing software, something random. I have no idea what this, anything about this company. Um, but I found this PDF example. It's a one page PDF that looks like an invoice. And what our goal is, is to find the balance due electronically, automatically from this invoice. And then we can, you know, you can do something with that. So first we're going to write a function. It's going to be called download file and it takes the URL of the file we're going to download and we're going to call a variable local file name equals url.split and what we're doing here is we are splitting the URL into the components and grabbing the last piece after the last slash so we're basically taking the PDF file name we're going to save that locally with requests.get URL as R uh, with open local file name write binary as F F dot write R dot content and return local file name. So that should work hopefully. Invoice URL equals we're going to paste this URL here in quotes. Now we're going to say invoice equals download file invoice URL. And that worked. And so now we have, uh, let's see if it downloaded the file. Uh, I don't know if it showed up. Well, let's see what happens. There it is. All right. So professional blue example PDF, the file has now been downloaded. Um, with PDF plumber dot open invoice as PDF page equals PDF dot pages zero. So we're grabbing the first page in that document and then text equals page dot extract text. And let's see what happens text and cool. So we've got all the text from that page. It looks a little funny because you've got these, you know, slash n uh, things coming through. But what that is, is those are new line characters. I think if we do print, this will look a little prettier. 
There we go. So now it's treating those new lines as actual carriage returns. And so this extracts the text from the PDF file. So let's look for a second and see how it actually looks compared to the original PDF file. So let's do this, let's do this. And yeah, you've got Ashland, Kentucky. So you can grab pieces of the address. It's a little funky here because you're just getting the first address and the second address here. First part of the address, second part of the address. So, you know, if you were looking to do some kind of information uh, analysis on the addresses, you'd have to do a little bit of splitting here. Uh, but what we're looking for is grabbing the balance due of 170.78, and that sure is the amount there. So easiest way to do it uh, based on this format here is what we want to do is we're going to iterate through these lines, and when we see a line that starts with balance due, we're going to grab the last thing in that line. So we're going to say for row and text dot split, we're going to split it by those new line characters. If row dot starts with balance due, then we want the row dot split, and we want the last thing in that row that's split. And then let's see what the balance looks like. There you have it, boom. That is how you can easily extract the balance due from this PDF file. So I think that's pretty cool. You can go into more detail if you wanted to get more of the data within each of these lines if you wanted. Uh, but for today's purposes, this is just showing how you can easily just grab all the text from a PDF file and pull out a specific piece as we did here. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel and put uh, click like for the video. And if you have any suggestions or comments, uh, please provide some comments in the in the comment section. Have a good day.